this video will show you how to use the CapCut app, a free app to edit professional videos using your phone step by step. And Chimdi, one of my students and video editors, is just the best person to take you through this. Of course, the first thing is to download the CapCut app. If you're on Android, you simply head over to your Play Store and search on CapCut. iOS device, you simply head over to your App Store, CapCut, and then click on download. There is no watermark, just a slide at the end of your videos, which you can just click and remove. Or you can go to the settings and remove it from there. This is the first thing you're going to see. Prompter. Now, prompter prompter is for people that are not good in cramming their script you are going to be able to see text on your screen you can be able to edit it and put ever what you want to see even though this tutorial goes through with a vertical video the same thing applies for a horizontal video so in case you want to shoot a regular youtube video just hold your camera across shoot it and follow the same process that chimdi will take you for a vertical video to create a new project simply click on this plus icon here it's going to open your gallery select a video click add this is where you'll be making all the changes when you come at the bottom you're going to see a couple of functions to play back this clip click this play button let's start by removing mistakes we want our video and our edits to be as tight as possible nobody wants to waste time again so we want to remove all the mistakes and all the breadth and all the pauses if you want to see more of your timeline slide your two fingers outwards this little time i wasted before i said hello guys i can simply check where i said hello guys click on the video on my timeline we are going to use the split so once you click split it's going to split it into two you now have two clips once you click the one we want to remove come over here and you will see delete now our video is going to start much more faster so now that place we see as a reference video we had a little bit of pause so we can just simply go back we as a reference reference video this video so after video we can click split and then we can wait till i want to say for cap cuts we can click split again this is the middle clip that we made the mistake we are going to select it and click delete now if you make mistake when deleting now you found out that you've deleted something you are not supposed to delete you can simply recover it back by pressing this undo button right here b-rolls are video clips and images you add to your video to show what you're saying now for this place i said reference video for cap cuts i want to add a cap cut it's it click on overlay click add overlay go to photos click this cap cut logo click add try and resize it and bring it down so it won't cover my face i can actually animate this overlay i've added by simply hitting animation down here then i can actually click an in point and out point of the animation we also have combo on in i might decide to use fading or a vertical for out i can decide to use a zoom out edit then i'll click good right here as a reference video for cap cut this is the video we are going to be editing the same process you use for bringing in an image is the same process you use for bringing in video clip or you can actually go over to stock videos that they have and you can actually add one of the stock footages they have transitions are also powerful for resetting your attention span but make sure you don't overdo it and you can stick to one or two transition for the entire video and let it not be too playful transition is like a movement between one video clip to another so we have two clips here we have this clip and then we have this clip this box in the middle of these two clips right here click on it and then you see a whole lot of transitions i'll go with the pulling and then with this uh, how many seconds you want it to be click on this good check mark right here or you can apply to all down here when it comes to adding text you do what you want to do you can choose the style animation the color the format and the position i always like adding text to whenever i am mentioning like a point click on this t here you are going to click on add text remove mistakes you can move it around and this button down here you can actually use it to resize it let's make this text more beautiful style and then we have a whole bunch of things we can do first is to change our font CapCut has a whole lot of beautiful fonts choose whichever one you want to use then once you've done that you click on good back to style you add a stroke so once you come you click on stroke and you're going to add like a black stroke increase the thickness if you want to add a black shadow you can increase the opacity to 100 percent in short you just play around and see what works for you probably like add a little bit of glow to make it pop you can change your text color i like it to be like a green add an effect but we are going to add an animation let's go with just a simple text animation from the video let's go with this flip play 
we are going to be able to remove mistakes from the video once you click on your text and hold it move it around in case if you didn't get the exact point of where you said your stuff remove mistakes is too long so what we can actually do is this remove mistakes from the video to reduce the text because it's too long click on your text click split and you click delete to reduce you the hassle of going through all those processes of creating again click on it you click copy it's going to create another copy of this one wherever other text appears we are going to be moving it there click on it hold and drag click click on this pencil icon on the text be able to add clean this one off and write text and animations the goal here is to play around we can't go through every single features there are thousands of them add graphics i come over to stickers like you can actually add a subscribe button i can move this guy around probably at the end click on this graphics move it to anywhere you want you can actually resize you can actually still animate it you just get crazy with it all right so you click good sometimes you might want to remove your background maybe you're trying to be creative or you have something you're importing that has a background and you want to remove it so that it can fit in your frame and your video remove green screens and um stickers if you want to add memes you know it comes with a green background click on it swipe over here and you will see cutouts click on chroma key select the green side increase the intensity and increase the shadow till all the green disappears click good position it oh you can just play around get used to it get used to the platform add captions click on text click on auto captions turn on dynamic captions that is going to keep your text popping out one after the other as you are mentioning them and click on start hello my name is Timdi. We are going to edit that. Click on that text you want to edit. Click on it and you can now change it. My name is Chimdi. So since we have stay creative here, there's no need of adding stay creative here again. So we can pay, click delete. Simply click on it. Click on style. Whatever you're editing here is going to be applied throughout the whole captions. Go to font. So you can just go with these bangers. We're going to add some styles to it. So once you click one of the captions, you click on style and just play around till you get something you like reduce the text if it's too big once you click on one of the text you can actually move it around reduce it now when you see something like this you can actually click on one of the text move your mouse cursor somewhere and click return it will make our videos clean and neat so we're going to be adding sound effects to anywhere we see our pop-up text or we see any animations on the screen down here once you click on audio click on effects there are so many things you can add you can add like an applause clapping heartbeats and all that but we are going to go over to transition thing we have switch we have whoosh we have remembering whoosh okay, let's download all these stuff let's use a swish so we click on this plus to use with two fingers if you swipe on your timeline you can be able to zoom into your timeline like together and then outward right? so we can be able to position our sound effects better for cap cut if the sound is too high you can click on it click on volume and you can actually reduce it click good audio click effects text appear on screen click good Move mistakes from the video instead of going all of them one by one click on this guy if you want to zoom in pinch in so let's pinch in on this click on this click on copy it's going to create a copy of it and you can move it to where the second text is where this like is we are going to add like a thing so now let's go over to sound again click effect if you want to save any trans effect that you like simply click on this save icon beside the plus once you click on it you add it to favorite click on this plus icon beside the thing click on your text and press it down then you can be able to move it about preview everything you've edited on a very big screen what you're going to do is you're going to click on this arrow down here so you want to click on it then you can now play hello adding background music to do that you're simply going to click on sound and you're going to see so many so i normally use beats this for example just click on add let's play hello. my name is Tim too loud click on the music click on volume and reduce it come over to your own talking head and you want to increase the volume click on it and increase it you want to make sure all your clips are of the same loudness you're going to click loudness adjustment our music is very long click on our music and click split click on this other part and click delete for color correction or color grading you can choose to use the already produced filters in
in the cap cut app or you can decide to go through the adjustment route the color correction making our video pop out more go over to the filter or adjust in adjusting we have brightness we have contrast saturation exposure sharpness hsl so many options down here so i want to increase the contrast so i might just increase it just a little tiny bit less is more and in saturation we can just increase down just a little bit exposure you can bring down the exposure just down a little bit increase your sharpness just small so you can increase individual colors in the clip my clothes i'm going to just increase the blue just a little bit now we can actually go ahead and add a whole lot more but so once you're done you click good i'm going to add like a layer so this is the layer here click on it move the slider till you get to the end of your clip keyframing is very important it can help you to move things around or move yourself on the screen we want to animate this our video when you click on your clip remember i split the clip here so i want to use this section for this example i'm going to click this diamond that has plus so i want to click on it you see that it's added like a diamond shape to it go to the end of the selected clip use my two fingers and push my video in a little bit like this play this back this is what is going to happen Hello, my name is Chimdi, and this video is going to be as a reference video for CapCut. Now, do you notice that it was zooming in? Zooming in and zooming out is very powerful to reset people's attention span and keep them watching your video. Try zooming in and zooming out intermittently, several places in your video now to export we are going to come up here where it's written 1080p once you click on it you're going to see different resolution 720 1080 and 4k choose the resolution 1080p so i shot my video in 24 frames so i'm going to bring down to 24 frames click this arrow button and it's how it's going to export your video i'm sure you need more guidance go to the link on this screen or click on the link in the description section or somewhere around this video to see the amazing offer that chimdi has for you play big and i'll see you on the next one